Hello and welcome you all to this deep hive mind session. This channel belongs to innovators who is in search of next generation innovations for future. Here we covers topics related to technology in IT fields. Our major goal is to share in-depth knowledge of that specific topic. Please feel free to drop questions on the topic or share your struggles and experiences in the comment section. We'll be happy to answer your questions in the end or else the moderator will collect the most uploaded questions so we can answer them for you and pin them below in the comment. So without further ado, let me deep you into today's video. Let's have a look on what we will be taking away from this video. IoT stands for Internet of Things. First we look into what is Internet of Things or IoT. Secondly, how it works and ecosystem of IoT. Thirdly, we will discover its advantages and disadvantages. Fourthly, what are its emerging IoT standards? Next, we will jump into IoT frameworks. And in last, we will talk about IoT security and privacy issues. IoT is a system of interrelated computing devices, mechanical and digital machines, objects, animals or people that are provided with unique identifiers (UIDs). And they have the ability to transfer data over a network without requiring human to human or human to computer interaction. A thing in the internet of things can be a person with a heart monitor implant, a farm animal with a biochip transponder, an automobile that has built-in sensors to alert the driver when tire pressure is low or any other natural or man-made object that can be assigned an internet protocol (IP) address and is able to transfer data over a network. Increasingly, organizations in a variety of industries are using IoT to operate more efficiently, better understand customers to deliver enhanced customer service, improve decision making and increase the value of the business. An IoT ecosystem consists of web-enabled smart devices that use embedded systems such as processors, sensors and communication hardware to collect, send and act on data they acquire from their environments. IoT devices share the sensor data they collect by connecting to an IoT gateway or other edge device where data is either sent to the cloud to be analyzed or analyzed locally. Sometimes these devices communicate with other related devices and act on the information they get from one another. The devices do most of the work without human intervention, although people can interact with the devices for instance. To set them up, give them instructions or access the data. Advantages of IoT. Monitoring IoT allows remote monitoring of devices and personal assets. The owner could be in any part of the world and by the means of his her smartphone they can check up and monitor their assets without spending revenue on manual labor. Accessibility. IoT allows users to access real-time information about their devices from any part of the world. Users can connect to the application and gather information about their personal devices. For example, a person switches on the AC when they are close to home so the room can be cool before they enter. Automation and control. The physical objects are connected to each other with wireless forms of technology and hence automation plays a huge role in the internet of things. It allows the working of these devices without human intervention. These devices communicate with each other to send and receive information at all times. Human effort minimization. IoT devices these days perform various tasks with much ease as compared to human beings. They reduce the dependency on manual labor. Time management. The IoT application in various industries lead to quicker constriction of organizations and various other domain applications. So it is clear to say that IoT reduces the time factor. Disadvantages of IoT. Data breach. The physical objects in IoT connect to the internet to transmit and receive information. So the user data is now available on the internet and hackers can hack this private and sensitive information. 
Data breach occurs when outsiders can access the user data without the awareness of the user. This data can be used to manipulate the user. Dependence The Internet of Things largely depends on Internet connectivity. Without a stable Internet connection, the IoT devices fail to work and the tasks are incomplete. Complexity IoT seems to be completing complicated tasks yet a huge set of complicated tasks run behind these devices in order to complete the task. Many times the user is not aware of the internal mechanism and hence even during a minor inconvenience the user has to contact customer support. In case the software makes a wrong calculation the entire operation of the object fails. Hence, it is complicated due to the large amount of code and the machine communication between various devices. If one machine fails to work the entire network suffers the loss. Security and privacy concerns. IoT systems are connected to a number of devices and communicate within a network. This means that there is little to no privacy between devices on the network. Lack of international standards. There is no set international IoT standards to match compatibility. This leads to problems in communication between manufacturers of different domains. Reduced mental and physical activity. An overuse of the internet and the IoT makes people lazy and lethargic. Since IoT makes lives easier it also leads to severe health issues since there is less physical movement. This may also cause an increase in stress levels in the human body in one way or another. IoT Standards There are several emerging IoT standards, including the following. IPv6 IPv6 over low-power wireless personal area networks, 6 low WPN, is an open standard defined by the Internet Engineering Task Force, IETF. The 6 low WPN standard enables any low-power radio to communicate to the Internet, including 804.15.4, Bluetooth Low Energy, BLE, and Z-Wave, for home automation. ZigBee ZigBee is a low-power, low-data-rate wireless network used mainly in industrial settings. ZigBee is based on the Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers, IEEE, 802.15.4 standard. The ZigBee Alliance created dot dot, the universal language for IoT that enables smart objects to work securely on any network and understand each other. LightOS LightOS is a Unix-like operating system, OS, for wireless sensor networks. LightOS supports smartphones, wearables, intelligent manufacturing applications, smart homes, and the Internet of Vehicles, IOV. The OS also serves as a smart device development platform. 1M2M 1M2M is a machine-to-machine -machine service layer that can be embedded in software and hardware to connect devices. The global standardization body, 1M2M, was created to develop reusable standards to enable IoT applications across different verticals to communicate. DDS Data Distribution Service DDS, was developed by the Object Management Group OMG, and is an IoT standard for real-time, scalable and high-performance M2M communication. AMQP Advanced Message Queuing Protocol AMQP, is an open-source published standard for asynchronous messaging by wire. AMQP enables encrypted and interoperable messaging between organizations and applications. The protocol is used in client-server messaging and in IoT device management. CoAP Constrained Application Protocol CoAP, is a protocol designed by the IETF that specifies how low-power, compute-constrained devices can operate in the Internet of Things. LoRAWAN Long Range Wide Area Network LoRAWAN, is a protocol for WANs designed to support huge networks, such as smart cities, with millions of low-power devices. IoT frameworks include the following. AWS Amazon Web Services, AWS, IoT is a cloud computing platform for IoT released by Amazon. This framework is designed to enable smart devices to easily connect and securely interact with the AWS cloud and other connected devices. ARMBED 
ARMBET IoT is a platform to develop apps for IoT based on ARM microcontrollers. The goal of the ARMBET IoT platform is to provide a scalable, connected and secure environment for IoT devices by integrating BED tools and services. Azure Microsoft's Azure IoT Suite is a platform that consists of a set of services that enables users to interact with and receive data from their IoT devices, as well as perform various operations over data, such as multidimensional analysis, transformation and aggregation, and visualize those operations in a way that's suitable for business. Google's Brillo slash Weave Google's Brillo slash Weave is a platform for the rapid implementation of IoT applications. The platform consists of two main backbones, Brillo, an Android-based OS for the development of embedded low-power devices, and Weave, an IoT-oriented communication protocol that serves as the communication language between the device and the cloud. Calvin Calvin is an open-source IoT platform released by Ericsson designed for building and managing distributed applications that enable devices to talk to each other. Calvin includes a development framework for application developers, as well as a runtime environment for handling the running application. Thank you very much for your presence. I hope you all enjoyed this informative video. See you in next video to this topic.